Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, hi Wendy. Hello, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Hi, Blanca. Good evening, Zaira. Hello, good evening. Hello, everyone. How was your day, Carlos? How was work? Was it easy, difficult? So, so. So, so. So, so. Did I have, you? Uh, uh, the algunos of the problems. Ah, the you some problems. Problem. And how do you feel but, in this moment? Stress, normal, tired? Um, a little tired. A little tired. Okay, I'm going but, to but, ask you but, a lot of but questions. But I'm ready for the class. But ready for, okay, that's <laughs> the attitude. Sounds good. And you, Wendy, how was your day at work? How do you feel in this moment? I'm fine. And in my day was well, very well. I Why? sell I sell three travel tickets. It is mm. it's very important. <laughs> yes. Do you get extra money? Do you get extra money no. when you sell tickets? No. Um, account like, cantidad? Account? account? Uh, quantity. A account uh, in the month? The term, the term, um, the term is. Yes. Yes. The, uh, the bonus. In the bonus. Yes. Ah, okay. How many? Because no, no for for a ticket uh, equal equal account equal pay. Ah, okay. Equal pay me for uh -huh. one ticket. Mm -hmm. For okay. pro, for production of oh, all month. Ah, okay. Okay, Wendy, but congratulations. Congratulations because you sold three tickets today. You're a good seller. Okay, everyone, present but nice to see you. Uh, no, in this moment, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to take attendance now. Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Beatriz. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida Janine. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Laura Carolina. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. Present teacher. Thank you. María Elena. María Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Thank you. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Santos, Christian Ernesto, Present Miss, Jose Arnoldo, Present Miss, Jose Jonathan, eh, Juan Carlos Rivas, and Mayra Moreno. No. Present. Ah, okay, Mayra, thank you. Can I <laughs> Yes, I'm going to add you right now. Okay, so in this moment, we're going to start by playing Hangman. Are you familiar with this game? It's called Hangman. Do you know it? No. No. Maybe you know the Spanish name. It's called Ahorcado in English. Are you familiar with that game? Yeah. Yes. Okay, in English, this is called Hankman. And let me see. You have to discover the word. 
three, four, eight, six, seven, eight. We are going to practice vocabulary that we have studied during this week. The first letter, the first word contains eight letters. The idea is that you discover, you discover the secret, the secret word. Okay. Does everyone understand the way it works? Si ¿Sí sabemos todos cómo funciona? Or do you have doubts? Why do this? Do you have doubts? No? Okay. So we will begin. Let's begin with Anna. Tell me a letter, Anna. Letter B. E. E. As in Eric. B. Ah, B as in boy. As in yes. baby. Yes. Okay. Thank you. No B, Anna. Lily and you? Tell me one letter, Lily. M. M as in Maria. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, we have one. Thank you, Lily. Blanca? A. A. Okay. We have one, two over here. Thank you, Blanca. Brian? Continue, Brian. Um, eh? Eh, like this? That one. E. Yes. E. Okay. Yes. We have one. One E. Thank you, Brian. Carlos? Letter C. The Charlie. C. C as Charlie. Okay. No C. So we're going to draw the face of this human. Thank you, Carlos. Christian. Continue, Christian. Letter, letter, letter B. B as in boy. As in yes. baby. Okay. No. It's not He's there. Repeat. But he said that one, so we have to draw another one. Okay, let's continue. Ellie, are you there, Ellie? Arnoldo, can you continue? Can you tell us a letter, please? And if you already know, you can say it. Si ya saben cuál es, if you already know, you can say it. Yes, Arnoldo. R, R, R. by Rose. Uh, no, thank you, Arnoldo, but no. So thank you. Let's continue, Maria Concepcion. B, sí, teacher. E, the P, as in Patty, Patricia. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. No. No, Maria Concepcion. Thank you. Laura, do you have ideas? Eh, eh, no. Eh, letter U, teacher. U. No. He is about to die. Ya casi lo van a matar. He is about to die. <laughs> Okay, so thank you, Laura. Oh. Ivania? Ideas, Ivania? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes, we have one. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Galileo, do you have a comment? No, let her all. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Can oh. destroy my idea. Uh, okay, yes, we have oh. Thank you. Let's continue, Elena. E. e as in eh? excellent. No, tomato. E as in Tom. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes, Elena. We we have it. Omar. R. R as in Robert. Yes. Mm -mm. No. Teacher. 
Yes. Me too. And I, 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 I know. Me too. Me too. Me too. I know. It. No. I, I know uh -huh. the, the answer. Uh huh. What is the answer, Arnoldo? Uh, repeat the E is mid love. That's the one. Uh huh. And yes, I missed one right. Uh huh. Thank you. Yes, mid love. It was very close. He was very close. He was about to die, but you made it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Congratulations. He didn't die. No se murió. He survived. Okay, so I'm going to share something with you. Today is practice day. Okay, we're going to practice simple present and adverbs. That is what we are going to practice. In order to do that, I'm going to share something with you. I'm going to read it. And then some of you will read it again. We are going to read about Mr. Miller. We have five questions to answer. Tenemos cinco preguntas a contestar. We have five questions to answer. Number one, what does, I'm sorry, what job does Mr. Miller have? Is he a busy person? Number two, what time does Mr. Miller get up every morning? Number three, who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? Number four, what does he do after he helps his kids with their homework? And number five, what kinds of TV shows does he love to watch? Okay, have that in mind. Lleven eso en mente. Have that in mind. Okay, so it says, I'm an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy life, a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together. In the teacher's room, I teach again in the afternoon. And then I correct my students' homework and tests. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay, we will listen to it one more time. Lo vamos a oír una vez más. We will listen to it one more time. Okay, Rodrigo is not here yet. Um, Oscar. Oscar, can you read the first part, please? What is in, in red? Please read it. I try. Okay. I am an English teacher and I had a big family, so I had very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get the question and dresses, and leave for work at seven thirty. I get to a school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until now. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and stay together the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I cover my student. Thank you, uh, Oscar. Very good pronunciation. We continue with the rest. Can you help us, Mayra? Can you continue? Are you there, Mayra? Sí, teacher. Ah, ah, okay. 
Continue, Marta, Solo please. que ajá, uh -huh. me estaba fallando el internet, pero ya me pasé a datos, teacher. Ah, ok. Ok. That's better. El párrafo que está coloreado. Uh -huh. okay. Homework and test after I get back home. I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I done some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel show. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Thank you, Mayra. Okay, now let's answer the questions. I may ask one or two of you, but remember you can answer or you can send your answer or opinion by chat. Tal vez no les puedo preguntar a todos, pero su respuesta también es bienvenida. Solo mándenme un private message para que nadie más vea su respuesta. Okay, so we start with question number one. Question number one, Galileo. What job does Mr. Miller have? And later, is he a busy person, Galileo? Oh, the microphone, Galileo. I don't hear you. Mm -hmm. He is an English teacher. Mm -hmm. And yes, he is. And yes, he is. Thank you, Galileo. And you, Zaira, is your opinion the same? As Galileo's opinion or different? Yeah. Yes, he is a, a English teacher. And is he a busy person? Um, is he a busy person? Side. Do you know that word? Conoce esa palabra? Busy. Busy. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, um, he, he, I have, you have a very busy daily routine. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, yes. And, uh, okay, okay. Sorry, Saira. Do you have uh, something else to say? Iba a agregar algo más, Saira. No, que entiendo que me pregunta que, que, El resto de, de, la, uh, de la oración es eh, que él pasa ocupado. Yes, yes, Aira. Yes, okay you, okay. you understood correctly. And yes, the messages say the same. So you are right. He is an English teacher. And yes, he is a busy person. So correct. Question number two. We will listen to Ivania first. Okay, Ivania, what do you think? What time does Mr. Miller get up every morning? Uh, he is get up. He is get up at six o'clock. Thank you, Ivania. Okay, let's double check. Let's see, Christian, what is your opinion? The same as Ivania or different? It's the same. The same, the same opinion. The same. Okay. It's the same opinion. Correct. Thank you. Tal vez Ivania solo la estructura que luego vamos a verla más a detalle. Aquí no necesitamos is, solo el verbo, con s, porque es simple yeah. present. Uh -huh. He gets up at, and then you mention the time, six o'clock. Okay, thank you, Ivania and Christian. Number three, let's continue with, let me see, Nelson, Nelson Gavarrete. Who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? Who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? With. Our lunch, but uh, okay, it's a uh, our lunch.
o no le encuentro, dice lunch. Ajá, del food. Y dice que... Oh. Do you need help? But do you understand the question, Nelson? Si ¿Sí entiende la pregunta. Sí, la entiendo, solo que no la encuentro en, en el párrafo. <laughs> ok, let's ask for help. Maybe María Concepción knows. María Concepción, what do you think? Uh, he always eat lunch and talk to her in the teacher room. Mm -hmm. Correct. So he eats with teachers in the teacher's room. So we will say he eats, right? Because he is a singular now. He eats his lunch with ah, aquí está. teachers. In the room teacher. Ah, okay. In the teacher's room. Yes, that's the answer. Number four, Omar. Are you there, Omar? Do you hear me? Omar? Maybe yes, not? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Omar, number four. What does he do after he sleeps his kids with their homework? I'm sorry, sir, after sorry. he helps. Number four. After he yes, helps. Uh, exercise. Ah, he uh, exercise exercises. Uh, okay. He eats uh, dinner uh, family and eats dinner with the family. Okay, yes. thank you, thank you, Omar. Let's double check. Juan Carlos, what is your opinion? Number four, what does he do after he helps his, his kids with their homework? The same, the same answer, teacher, is good. Mm -hmm. So we can say he, and then you can say exercises or does exercise. Both or works out would be another possibility. He exercises and eats dinner with his family and watches TV, watches TV, but before he goes to sleep. Okay, number five, Wendy, what kinds of TV shows does he love to watch? What do you think? He, he loves to watch. No. He loves to watch. To watch. To watch. Travel. Travel shows. Travel shows. Okay. He Wendy, loves. Thank you. He loves to watch travel shows. Thank you, Wendy. And Arnoldo, what do you think? I, I can see the answer here, but can you read it, please? Just activate the microphone, Arnoldo. Number five. He watch travel show with her family. Uh -huh, correct. So, yes, Wendy and Arnoldo. He watches travel or loves to watch. I'm going to put it like that. Loves to watch travel shows. Okay, good answers. Now it is your turn. Okay, in the next page, we have a paragraph about Miss Smith and five questions about Miss Smith. But this one, you're going to do it in groups, groups of three. Okay, you're going to do it in a room. I'm going to divide you and I'm going to give you time so you can answer the questions. 
I sent that in the chat, se los mandé ahí en WhatsApp, ese document, ahí lo pueden descargar. Ok, hold on. Ok, please accept the invitation. Hi, Eli. Se le está yendo su conexión. Teacher, teacher es que yes. me había, acabo de llegar, entonces antes, ah. antes de, de venir me conecto en el celular y no le sirve la cámara. Entonces ah, ahorita por eso. Me, me ah. puede mandar al... Yes, al, le acabo de mandar ahí la, la invite, no le, no le ha salido. No, ahí está. No, mandó abajo esta otra página. Oh. Creo que son dos páginas. Son dos yes. páginas. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, Miss Smith. Correct. Uh, um. just, just one comment. Solo un comentario. Okay. Recuérdense que estamos trabajando Simple Present, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea ahorita de practicar. Entonces, recuérdense de que siempre vamos a poner el sujeto. Tenemos que comenzar la oración con un subject. Y recuérdense de la S cuando sea necesario. Okay? So, just have that in mind. Tengan eso en mente. Do you have okay. questions for me before I, I go away? En, en, el, en el caso, teacher, de, de los verbos que llevan up, eh, se le pone el verbo, en el verbo se le pone la S, ¿verdad? Y llevan up, como UP, como get Ajá. up. Get Ajá. up, stand up. Correcto. Va en el verbo. Wake no up. No en la preposición. Pero si anteponemos el das, teacher, en la respuesta, está correcto también. Si es tercera persona o el do, si es. El das lo utilizaría si fuera negativo. Ah. Como doesn't, okay. o si estuviera ah. preguntando. En la ah, respuesta okay. afirmativa no lo utilizo. Solo simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Entonces recuerden eso, que okay. tenemos que, que practicar más eso. Ok. Um, other questions? Okay. No, teacher. For no, me? Teacher. No. Ok. See no, you in a teacher. moment. Thanks. Goodbye. Ok. Descargando. Permítame. Ahorita estoy en eso. Ahorita. Permítame. Bye. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Solo dos están acá. Todos eran de tres sí, los grupos. Se fue, se fue Elizabeth. Y, ah, se Porque le fue su conexión. No, es que usted la tenía en dos grupos. Entonces, Entonces ah, se salió de Ah, ok, ok. Se quedó es, con Liliana. Liliana, no. Liliana. No, es que Wendy, habíamos... Creo. Sí, creo que ya vi qué pasó. Éramos 21, pero veo que Jenny no, no tiene su conexión bien. Por eso es que quedó una pareja. Ajá. Ah, ok. Bye. Well, do you bye. have questions for me before I, I leave? No, teacher, no hemos visto. A mí no me ha caído un documento. Creo que porque ah, el internet bien. no sirve y mis datos están como un poco lentos. Ah, quizás por eso, porque ya, ya lo envié ahí antes de la clase. Así que sí, sí es que ahorita, ahorita lo está, lo está ahorita cargando. Lo estoy descargando. Ah, ok. okay. Y ahorita Solo... lo comparto con... Okay. Thank you, thank you, Cristian. Ahí comparte la pantalla y ella lo va a poder ver. Sí, María ahorita. Concepción. Solo les quería recordar que estamos trabajando en Simple Present. Entonces recuerden que hay que poner sujeto. Tienen que poner o iniciar la oración con he, she y la S. Si es tercera persona, hay que agregarle una S. Okay, so make sure that you remember that. Bye. Así que les quería hacer 
Okay, un poco de también. énfasis en eso. Ok, I will let you continue. Okay. See you in a moment. Bye. See you. Bye. No, yo en correr de, en la playa y, 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 y ver el sunrise es el amanecer. L luego, eh, luego desayuno uh -huh. y voy a trabajar. Mi trabajo, o trabajo en un banco y está cerca de casa, de mi casa. No, no manejo, yo tomo el bus. Y en Only Day me toma alrededor de 20 minutos de llegar al trabajo. Uh -huh. um, after es después del trabajo, uh -huh. me gusta. Ah, Bakerly. Aquí sí, con esta preguntita, teacher, what is meaning bakery? Bakery. Bakery, bakery es como panadería, como un lugar ah, donde se compra yes, pan dulce. Yes, yes. Bakery. Un, después dice que le gusta comprar, es cierto. Mm -hmm. Bakery. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sorry, no Carlos, sorry Thank to you, interrupt you. Uh, just, I wanted to emphasize something. We are practicing simple present. So please remember that you need to use the S when you're talking about he, she, or it. And don't forget the subject. Quería solo hacerles énfasis en eso, que tenemos que trabajar más. Utilizar subject. Y si es tercera persona, recuerden que hay que usar la regla de la S. Okay, so make sure that you, oh. you use it whenever is necessary. Cuando sea que se tenga que utilizar. Do you have questions for me? Before I, I go away? No. No. Teacher. Elena, questions? No. Lesson? No. Okay. No. I'm going to visit other rooms. If you need me, I'll come back. Solo me avisan y yo vengo para acá. Thank okay. You. See you Thank later. You. Hi, Saira and Brian. Hi. How teacher. are you doing? <laughs> Do you need help? Eh, comenzamos a descifrar acá. Eh, la primera sería You like to go going along the beach and watch the sunrise. She. She likes. She, uh -huh. she, she yes. likes. Mm -hmm. Okay. She likes. Like, to... you know, like. Sorry, Brian. ¿Por qué ¿Por like? like? Le oigo cortado, eh, Brian, sorry. ¿Por qué? Porque dice que, bueno, en la, en el, ¿cómo se llama? En el párrafo dice que ella va jogging, no sé. Jogging. Algo, no sé. Jogging. jogging. ¿Qué, qué, es jogging? ¿Qué es jogging? It's run slowly, trotar. When you run, but slowly. Mm. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿por qué no va go? Goes, con la S. Ah, va, she goes. Ajá, no o va sea, así. La, la, respuesta, la respuesta no sería así. Eh, pues tendrían que poner algo así como, she likes, for example, she gets up early. Because she likes to go jogging along the beach. Ella le gusta correr. Le gusta mm -hmm. ir a correr. Ajá. Uh -huh. Correct. Entonces, ¿Cuál sería la palabra para correr? Run es correr. Jogging es la de trotar, que es la que está aquí en el, en el ah, paragraph. Ah, jogging. Jogging. Ah, entonces hoy sí tiene sentido. I get up early because I like to go to, ajá, le gusta correr por la playa. Correct. Yes. Solo que venía acá porque quería hacerle énfasis en dos cosas que he notado que tenemos que trabajar más. El uso del subject, Zaira and Brian, don't forget the subject, hay que ponerlo, el sujeto, y sí. la S. La S si es he, she, or it. Aquí estamos hablando de Miss Smith. Así que en la mayoría lo, lo van a utilizar prácticamente. Ok, solo... Es este simple, ¿verdad? Simple present. Ajá, eso tenemos que trabajarlo, hay que perfeccionarlo más. 
Así que quería hacerles énfasis en eso para que lo tengan presente cuando estén estructurando las oraciones. Y ya okay. en el main room, pues yo los escucho y ahí vamos a, a corroborar. We will double check the answers. Thank Do you, you have teacher. any other questions for me? No sé si tienen alguna duda antes que me marche. No, teacher. Thank no. you for... No, ok. See you in a moment. Goodbye. Bueno, yo la respuesta casi no la que tengo ahí wow. pero no sé si es correcto. ¿Cuál es el because he En la 3, ¿cómo pues, como que se hobby, Vaya, le voy a decir la número 4. His, his hobby is fighting, dice aquí. Her hobby. Es lo que está sombreado, ¿va? Ah, sí. Ahí está sombreado, no lo había visto. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Pero his hobby, yeah. teacher. Y ahí donde dice his hobby, his hobby no es her hobby. No. Her hobby is his. His ah. es para her, his es para mujer y her no. es para hombre. No, al revés. Al revés. Pero analicen bien lo que está diciendo. Analicen bien de quién está hablando ahí. Porque no hay error. No hay error. But really. Entonces está hablando del chef. Está hablando de su husband. Ahí. Ajá. No de ella. Ok. Um, one comment. Ahorita que estaba viendo su answers, en el segundo verbo no le ponemos la regla de la S. Solo lleva la regla de la S el primer verbo. Entonces oh. sería she likes to go. to go. Porque el to en cierto sentido en inglés elimina la regla de, de la S. Ah, se lo sabían. Bueno, bueno. Ahí, ahí iría así. To go jogging along the beach. Y because con una C. Just one thing. Oh, sí, sí. Sí, me ah, okay. sí <laughs> pero pasa. <laughs> okay. Uh, in two minutes, we will go back. Okay. Ellie? Ah, no, era Ana, creo, ¿verdad? Okay. In two minutes, we will come back. I'm going to let you continue. Okay. Hi, Oscar. What happened? ¿Qué pasó, Oscar? Se le fue I su conexión. Trouble. Sí, la, la computadora la estoy reiniciando ah. y aquí en el teléfono cuesta compartir y toda esa cuestión. Ah, un momento usted envió ya. ahorita, ¿verdad? Estaba viendo que mandaron una foto de una computadora. Era sí, usted. Sí. Y ya, ahorita sí, está sí. reiniciando entonces su computadora. Ya ahorita ya cargó. Quiero ver si ya me puedo conectar al Zoom. Ah, ok. Okay. Sorry, Gracias. sorry, no problem. Arnoldo, tell me, do you have a question? Uh, the microphone, Arnoldo. We are ready, no. Ah, okay. No Thank you. Yes. Okay. We will wait 20 seconds for your classmates to come back and then we check. We check answers. I'm going to share this with you now. And check the grammar, okay? Check the grammar of the sentences you have with the ones I'm going to put here. Just to make sure that we have we have the same. Okay. Well, now that everyone is back, we are going to check the answers. Please check the grammar, check the sentences, just to check if we have the same. If you have questions or comments, you can ask, and that way I can, I can explain the info to you. Okay, <clears throat> number one, Laura and Ivania, why does Miss Smith get up early every morning? Um, 
the answer uh, she get up at about 5.30. Okay, but why? Why does she get up early? Por qué? Why does she get up early? Um, because oh, uh -huh. I like to go going along the beach. Sí. Uh -huh. Because she, right, this one, right. she likes. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Ivania. Let's check with Anna. Anna, what is the answer? Number one, your group. What do you have? Activate the microphone, Anna. Mm, yes. Uh, the, she likes to go jogging along the beach and watch the sunrise. Okay, thank you, Anna. And now we check with Elena. What is the answer that you have? What did you write down? Yes, I think the same. She likes uh, go jogging along the beach and watches the be no watches sunrise. Okay, all right. Thank you, Elena. All right. So she get up early because she likes to go jogging and and watch what the sunrise. sunrise okay thank you elena that's correct this is answer number one answer number one do you have questions about this answer? Hay alguna duda en algo que vean acá? No, no questions. Okay, so we continue with answer number two. Let's ask Maria Concepcion. Where? Teacher, teacher. Uh, per yes, perdón. Carlos. Perdón, quizá muy tarde. No, eh, tell me. Yo le puse es al verbo wash también no sé si si cuando lleva dos verbos los dos verbos también hacen el papel de la s ah ok good question se pondría en el primero en este por ejemplo de likes el ajá, to, ahí, ahí sí lo puse ajá, el to anula la regla de la s y como end es un conector por llamarlo así aquí podemos siempre anularlo porque es como en likes to watch to go jogging. Entonces podemos hacerlo con dos, dos verbos, Carlos. En otras palabras, el to, este es el que está anulando. Está anulando eso, la regla. En el verbo go y en el verbo watch, porque son dos. Pero el to utiliza o se lleva como que a los dos. No sé si me entiende. Ok, ok. Yes. Thank okay. You. Vamos a ver un poquito más de grammar después de este, de este, eh, de esta activity. Okay. So number two, Maria Concepcion, I think you were going to tell us, right? Okay. Where she does, works. In, uh -huh. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> she works in a bank near your home. Okay. Thank you, Maria Concepcion. We will double check. Jenny. What do you have? Number two. Where does she work? Mr. Smith works in a bank. Mr. Smith or Mrs. Smith? The Ms. wife or Miss? Miss. Ah, okay. Miss. So, yes, she works in a bank near her house. Yes. Number three. Let's check Mayra. How long does it take? Miss Smith to get to work. Nosotros la pusimos teacher. Mm -hmm. She going 20 minutes to get to work. Okay, thank you, Mayra. We will check. And you, Arnoldo, what did you write down? She takes 20 minutes to get her work. 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. Maybe just the structure, it takes her 20 minutes. It takes her 20 minutes. 
that could be the, the structure there. Number four, let's continue with number four. And now we listen to Christian. What is Miss Smith's hobby? What is her uh, hobby, Christian? Her hobby is growing flowers in our garden. Oh, in your garden. In there, uh -huh, or in, in there. her garden. Yes, okay, thank you, Christian. Let's see, Brian, what did you write down? Number four. Uh, Brian, I don't hear you. Or you, Saira? Uh -huh, Sorry, Brian. Ah, okay. este me complica esta computadora. Ah. Esta no la, no la he logrado hacer todavía. Ah, you don't have it. And you, Saira? No, not yet. Okay. What do you have, Laura? Or... Uh -huh. My hand, oh, okay. In the evening, she takes golf for a work. That I, is the, the hobby. Number four. I, the, I know her hobby is growing flowers in her garden. Growing flowers. Okay, thank you. So, yes, her hobby is growing flowers in her garden yes because the other hobby belongs to her husband but this is the one that belongs to her or you can say she likes she likes to grow flowers in her garden that could be another possibility okay thank you number five galileo what does miss smith do in the evenings he takes her pet for a walk. We, we take. No, she, she um, takes um, her pet for a walk. Takes, okay, thank you. Omar, what did you answer? Number five. She takes call for a walk. Mm -hmm. Yes, she takes her pet or wolfy if you want to use the name or her dog i i imagine that is a dog <laughs> she takes her dog for a walk those are the answers do you have more questions for me yes teacher mm -hmm, Galileo. in the number three how long does it take Miss Smith to get to work? Uh, your answer is takes her 20 minutes. Uh, uh, say she takes 20 minutes to get her work is acceptable or is bad answer? One more time. Como sería, Galileo? The second takes, option. She takes. She takes 20 minutes to get her work. Is acceptable or is wrong mm -hmm. answer? No, it, it wouldn't be acceptable, Galileo. It will have some, some mistakes in the structure. So okay. use this one. Yeah, Okay. I got it. Thank okay. you. Okay, excellent. Well, good job. Most of the answers you gave me were correct. So that is very nice. You understood? the information. Okay, I want to give you some feedback about present, present tense, and we're going to practice what we study in this, in this unit. ¿Verdad? Hoy cerramos unit number two. Entonces vamos a hacer un review, the simple present, and adverbs. We study adverbs. Okay, so simple present. Let's talk about simple present. Okay. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. En el examen, en la parte 4, la pregunta número 4 no la, no la toma como correcta porque es de la misma de las tareas de la que se reportó. Mm, ok, lo voy a volver a reportar porque 
Sí, ya lo, ya lo mandé. Thank you, María Concepción. Solo si me puede mandar un screenshot. No sé si lo tiene porque yo lo, yo lo anexo ahí cuando lo mando. ¿Lo necesita ahorita o más tarde? No, no. Ajá. Más Mañana tarde. lo okay. voy a enviar porque ahorita ya, ya están okay. descansando los que están ahí. En este caso, ¿cuál es la procedura? Bueno. With the with the middle term and the and the homework number number two. When there is a mistake and you can't you can answer it, it's in our side. We try to fix it. Ya es como que ya no queda en ustedes, sino que ya en nosotros, verdad, en nuestra responsabilidad corregirlo. Y eso se ha estado intentando hacer, pero ha sido como muy complejo el error que no lo han, no sé qué tiene que ver con el sistema o el software que no se ha logrado solucionar. Pero voy sí, a hablar. Que, Ajá. que no, solamente quería decirle que en la tarea sale malo, pero yo lo hice en el midterm y me salió bueno. En el midterm usted no tuvo problema. Sí, no. Yo no. también en el mío la tengo buena. Midterm, ok. Pero no, Arnoldo, dice, también a mí me sale no. buena en el meeting. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Solo en la tarea, ¿no? Okay. A mí no, teacher. Yo mí lo yo... puse de un montón de veces y siempre me sale malo. Midterm, test, también. Yes, yes, el text. Voy a anotar. Número I tried for five, five times. And, oh, my God. A and... lot of times. In different, in different, in change, Ways. don't work. Oh, okay. And the the same results don't don't work for me. Okay, I will check. So we have Maria Concepcion, Arnoldo, and Ellie, right? Yes. Okay. Number four is the que les está dando problem. Sí. Okay. Four, four. Okay, thank you. I'm going to check tomorrow and I will send a message to you tomorrow too. Okay, so now we will continue here with the formula. Okay, Ivania, do you remember the formula that we use in simple present? Um, the subject. Uh -huh. um, the bear must bear. Mm -hmm. And the complement. That is the last part. Okay, thank you, Ivani. And now let's talk about the use. Okay, we can use simple present in different ways. Pueden utilizar simple present, o sea, este structure que tenemos acá, de varias maneras. We study one. We study one today. I'm sorry, in this unit. Do you remember, Jenny? Se recuerda el uso, Jenny, que, que practicábamos the simple present this week or in this unit. Um, I don't remember, teacher. No. Okay, who remembers the use we mentioned this week? Me. Uh -huh. mm, yes, and me. I think is. Uh, ay, no, ya no me acuerdo. Okay. Pensé que estaba preguntando la otra estructura donde lleva, lleva el verbo. No. Teacher, no, no pero... es das en do. Eh, ING. No. 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 Is the use, el uso, cuando lo vamos a utilizar. Simple present. Routines. Ajá, sí, pero ese no vimos ahora, pero sí, lo vamos a agregar acá. Regular routines. Yes. This is one use. Regular activities. En cosas de cultura. Ajá. ¿Y el de esta semana? This unit? No. Les voy a recordar. Ok. Program. Program. Program activities or planned activities. When we have planned activities, we can use 
a simple present. Let me check something here. Okay, so program activities. Yes, we use simple present for regular activities or when you talk about traditions, traditions or habits, you can use present, simple present, okay? Si van a hablar de alguna de estas situaciones, ustedes pueden utilizar esta fórmula. We mentioned that it has two versions. Y mencionábamos que habían como dos versiones, ¿verdad? La que era para singular, eh, singular nouns, que lleva la S, que les que entré a algunos rooms y les recordé, ¿verdad? Que con he, she, and it utilizábamos la S. Y la otra, que no lleva la S, el verbo. Ok, si quiero hablar de traditions, I can say, we play board games at home on the weekends. We play board games at home on the weekends. A tradition my family and I have. We use simple present. Habits, you can say. Mm, I drink coffee in the mornings. Okay, I'm expressing a habit. Quiero expresar un hábito. Utilizo esta fórmula. Menciono el subject. The person you're talking about, la persona, el lugar o la cosa de la que hablan. Y luego el verbo que expresa su activity. Ok, drink, play, work, study, go, etc. And the complement, to express your idea. Program activities, cosas que siempre ya están programadas, or schedule, ya están establecidas. We have our English class at 8 p.m. from Monday to Friday, okay? I can use simple present in many ways. Pueden utilizar la misma estructura para decir diferentes cosas. Ok, entonces quizás como um, lo que más he notado es que estamos olvidando utilizar el subject at the beginning of the sentence. He notado que en algunas oraciones que me envían, a veces solo va el verbo, el verbo y el complement. O he notado que a veces va el verbo, pero hemos olvidado quizás la S, cuando es he, she, or it. Ok, so let's not forget those points. Negative sentences. Y si son negative sentences, ahí es donde ya utilizamos do or does, right? We have do or does. Do or does. Ok, so question. Lily, do. ¿Con quiénes utilizábamos do? Que en la forma negativa sería do not. ¿Con qué sujeto sería do not? Do you remember, Lily? No, ok. En you, Zaira, do you remember? ¿Cuándo sería do not y cuándo sería does not or doesn't? No, teacher. No, okay. Sería I. Con do o con, con do does. Sería, Ajá. Con do, con do sería I. I. Ajá. We, they, and you. And you. In plural and nouns. Yes. Porque we, a veces... Plural uh -huh. nouns. Yes. Porque a veces no va a estar we, you, I, sino que van a decir el subject, como que digan teachers. Es un noun plural, entonces tenemos que usar do not. Okay, and we have does not. Do you remember, Carlos, when we have to use does not? Yes, when uh -huh. the person, the, there's some people, uh -huh. she, he, and it. 
Uh -huh. And whenever you have singular nouns, right? For example, if you say El Salvador, okay, one place, one country, se tomaría como un singular noun. El Salvador. Um, I'm going to take the attendance before I continue. I'm going to take the attendance. Hold on. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present. Okay. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Frida Janine, Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. No. Okay. Eh, María Concepción. Present teacher. Thank you. Then, María Elena. Present teacher. Ivania Palma. Present. Okay. Nelson Gabarrete. I hear Miss. Okay. Thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Thank you. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Santos. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Jose Arnoldo. Present, present, Miss. Thank present. you. Yes. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Okay. And Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. So let's continue here. This is when you have to use do or does in negative sentences. Ese ya lo utilizan cuando es negative, right? Dependiendo de su subject. I can say, she doesn't or does not drink coffee in the mornings. Okay? It's a negative sentence. She does not drink coffee in the mornings. Okay, when it's negative, no es, okay, recuerden, cuando es negativo, we don't use the S, no se utiliza. And then we have, we can say, my brothers. What do you think, eh, Juan Carlos? Doesn't or don't? My brother. Don't. Don't. Uh -huh, because it's a plural noun. So I have to say my brothers don't watch TV in the mornings. Okay? Y ahí es donde ya lo vamos personalizando. Entonces quería darles este feedback sobre simple present. Okay? Un refresh, un recordatorio. Do you have questions for me about this? Do you have questions? Something that you would like to ask? No. Okay. In that case, let's talk about frequency adverbs. We study frequency adverbs. Vamos a ver si todavía se recuerdan de los frequency adverbs. Christian, can you mention three? Three frequency adverbs? There were some words that we that we used to express the frequency of activities. Veíamos unas palabras que eran para hablar de la frecuencia con la que hacíamos algo, ¿verdad? Do you remember some of them, Christian? No. Okay. Elena and you? Do you remember?
Let's see. Always. Aha, uh -huh, that is one. Generally. Usually. Often. Aha, uh -huh, you Rarely. remember. For right. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Seldom. And seldom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to correct. I'm going to show them to you again. Se las voy a volver a mostrar. So you can see them, right? These are our, uh, um, sorry, our frequency words, frequency adverbs. So here you have the list and you have the frequency. Okay. What was the position, Wendy? Do you remember the position? ¿Se recuerda dónde las poníamos o colocábamos, Wendy? These frequency adverbs. ¿Cómo aquí? No, I don't understand. ¿En, ¿En dónde colocamos esas palabras? ¿Al final, al principio, en medio? Puede ser el Thank you, María Constantino. Después del verbo, después del sujeto, no. Después del sujeto. Es como que yo diga, ay, y luego si voy a hablar de frecuencia, tengo que pensar en qué palabra va. I never go Pero a park. veces no en este orden, teacher. Pero sometimes es que es distinto. There are two exceptions. Ajá. Había so dos. Uh, sometimes and usually and sometimes. Usually. Uh -huh. Ajá, correct. Usually and sometimes in usually. other order. Usually and sometimes can go at the beginning. As podíamos poner al principio. Oh, o, okay. o después del subject. Ajá, uh -huh. two exceptions. Okay. And let's remember some examples. Okay, if you remember this. I'm going to show you the presentation again, so you remember this a little bit more. Okay. Mm. Ah, okay. Okay, frequency adverbs. Number one. Mayra, can you read it, please? Are you there, um, Mayra? Um, leo lo, que, lo de la muñequita, lo de ahí. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, always read a book. I always uh -huh, read a book. Thank you. Oscar, can you read the next two? The next two sentences. I usually play the saxophone. Mm -hmm. I often ride my bike. Thank you. Lily, continue, please. I really go, I really go to the cinema. I rarely uh -huh, go to the cinema. Thank you. And then Blanca, can you read the next one, please? Sorry. <laughs> I, never, no I never drink alcohol. Uh -huh. In English, we say alcohol. <laughs> okay, correct. So here you have some sentences. And the, the next one, can you read this one, Galileo? I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, next one for living. I sometimes play basketball. I sometimes. Uh huh. Thank you. I play so basketball. that's the last one. So you could see some of them. Okay. So a little review. Quería hacer un pequeño review. And do you have any doubts before we practice? Questions for me? Something that is not clear? No. Okay, so now I'm going to share the book and we will continue here. Okay, in this moment, 
we will study in this part. It is page 28, page 28 in the book. Exercise number one. You can use the chat. You can use the chat. I'm going to give you three minutes, three or four minutes for you to send this on the chat or use WhatsApp. If you feel more comfortable using WhatsApp, you can do it. You have to complete the sentences with simple present. Okay? Lo que tienen que hacer es completar la oración utilizando el verbo que aparece en paréntesis. Vamos a hacerlo primero individual y luego vamos a corroborar. Luego lo vamos a, a ver todos juntos para ver, comparar si estamos todos en lo mismo. And you can send the answers by chat. Pueden enviarlo aquí en el chat. Lo pueden hacer ahí o en, en WhatsApp para que yo pueda también ver lo que han puesto. Okay, we check in about three minutes. Con lo que vimos de... de... 28. 28. Uh, Thank you. Yes, Lily, do you, did you have a question? Sí. Uh -huh. Con lo que vimos de, de la frecuencia con que se hace o... o... No necesita frequency words. No, Solo okay. necesita simple present. Okay, I can see that some of you already finished. We will continue now together so you can compare. Okay, you can compare the answers. Let's start with Juan Carlos. Number one, Juan Carlos. What do you think? Yes, what is works. the answer? Works. Yes, works from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thank you. And you, Arnoldo, number one?
Arnoldo. Work. Uh -huh. Work. Sorry. Works. Works. Yes. So number one is works because we have a singular noun. Thank you. Now, Christian, number two. Can you read the sentence, please? Okay. Sería Jen and Pete clean the tables every day. Thank you, Christian. And Jenny, what do you think? Mark, number, number two. Two. Uh -huh. Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. Clean, two. Uh -huh. Correct. Clean. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. Now, Wendy, number three. Mark does not take order on Wednesday. Thank you, Wendy. Saira, number three. Two, la misma, number three, Saira. Mark, Mark, Mark does not take order on Wednesday. Uh -huh. Thank you. So we have to have doesn't take, no es in this case, because it's negative. Thank you, Saira. And Wendy. Okay, now Oscar, our restaurant. To open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sorry, open or opens? Open. Open. No es. Okay. And Omar, what do you think? Uh, our restaurant open. Open too. Okay. Yes. And Arnoldo, it says open too. Okay, the restaurant. One restaurant, two restaurants, three restaurants. How many restaurants are we talking one about? Restaurant. It's open. Only one. Open. one restaurant. Uh -huh. Open. So we have Opens. to use open. Yes. It's our, but it's one possession. Like our teacher, one teacher in the class. Okay, so opens. Number five, Nelson. Can you help us, Nelson? Okay. How about spends most time in the restaurant? Thank you, Nelson. And Ivania? Um, our boss spends much time in the restaurant. Spends, yes. It is? Spends. Spends, because it's only one manager or supervisor. Thank spends. you. Now, Elena. Yes, spends. Mm -hmm. Elena, number six. We, we don't close on Saturday. Sundays. Uh -huh. Thank you, Elena. And Maria Sunday. Concepcion. Thank you, Elena. Number six. We don't, we don't close on Sundays. We don't, uh -huh. we don't close. Okay, thank you. Laura, can you continue, Laura? Number seven. They, they expect to have more clients this week. Thank you, Laura. And you, Galileo, what do you think? Uh, they expect to have more clients this week. They expect. Uh -huh. Thank you. So if you have the same, the same information, you did very well. Those are the answers. Okay, Thank now we will continue. Uh, we will continue with activity number two. It is similar, but in this case, you have to elaborate the sentence, okay? And we will use frequency adverbs, okay? Aquí si hay frequency adverbs, y ustedes tienen que elaborar toda la idea. Again, 
three minutes or four minutes, and then we check together. Do you understand? Si entendemos the activity? Do you understand, guys? Yes. Yeah. 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 subject. I'm sorry, Brian. I can else? I can use any subway. No, Wait. it's subject. already here. Okay. Just acá. It's already here. Remember, subject could be people, animals, things. Ya está dado el subject en todas. Speak up in the first. Or, no, it's not table. Uh -huh. Table. Tables, ajá. Uh -huh. So I'll give you a moment. Vamos a hacerlo de la misma manera. Ustedes traten de ver cómo quedaría y luego vemos acá. Vamos a Ah, no es en grupo. No, individual, Brian. <risa> Para que no se me duerman ahí todos, que estén ahí pensando mucho. Okay. <risa> Chair. Yes, Galileo. We must use just only words in the parentheses or we can add some words. You have to, uh -huh. there are some words you need to, to add. Thank you. Are you ready? Ready to check them? Anna? No, not yet. Jenny? Yes, okay. teacher. You're ready. Okay. Yes. Teacher. So in that yes. case, we start. We start now. Uh, hold on. Okay. We will start with Carlos this time. Carlos, what? How can you elaborate number one? 
Oh, okay, I try. <laughs> I sometimes pick up the table. I sometimes. And sometimes. Ah, okay. But you have to use the one here. I always in this case. <gasps> but yes. okay. No, 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 see. Ah, okay. Uh, I, no, I always, I always pick up the table. I always pick up the tables. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, let's check Ellie and you. What did you write down? Teacher number one, no, only number two. Number two. Okay, if you want to put a subject, ¿qué subject le podría poner? Table. The, the table, always. Mm -hmm. mm. Pero no, no encontré mm -hmm. sentido. It's the table true. always implica. Okay, mention someone. Mencione a alguien, entonces. Mm, Jenny. Okay, so Jenny. Uh -huh. Yo tengo duda de ese teacher, pero... It's true, eh, yes. Eh. Ajá, Sorry. Eh. Es cierto. Yo lo traduje como... Uh -huh. Tables are always pick up. Como las mesas siempre se recogen. Are always, con el verb be. Sí, podríamos solo hacerlo así, pero sería passive voice. Se llama ese tiempo. Que pondríamos... Tables are always picked up by us, que le damos como vuelta, pero es cierto, aquí deberíamos de ponerle nosotros uno para Confuso. no complicarnos, ajá, para no complicarnos la vida. On that one, number two, uh -huh, era mejor que le agregáramos, sorry. I got confused, guys. I'm sorry that I made your life more difficult. Okay, sí, so... Yo sí, no me uh -huh. realicé sin agregar ningún sujeto ni nada. O sea, porque, por ejemplo, en la segunda lo dejé así como menu seldom changes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero eh, si lo ponen así... Así lo dejé yo. Che, así lo dejé yo. Le no. falta. Solo le que le puse a ti. Dime, no Ajá, ajá. Mejor. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Y según Laura. la instru instrucción, eh, como dice, escriba las oraciones usando las palabras en paréntesis. Uh -huh. O sea que siempre tendríamos que haber agregado un sujeto, porque yo no le agregué a ninguna. Ajá. <risa> so, sí. ni yo, yes. yo, ni yo porque ahí no dice. Ahí no dice. En, en la uno <risa> la dejé always, always pick up, pick up tables. Es decir, ajá. el. El, ¿Cómo se llama? La, el adjective y seguido del verbo en todas, digamos. Ok. <risa> yes, y en la una no dejé así, table always pick up. Ajá, pero si decimos así es como que solo estamos poniéndolos. Uh -huh. Hay que darle más forma a la idea. Sorry. O sea, la, Pensé la que todos lo llevaban, no, pero no. No, pero es que sí, porque dice, escribe oraciones usando las palabras en paréntesis, entonces sí había que agregarle. Uh -huh. yes. Ajá. Porque, porque en otras ocasiones dice ordene. O, uh -huh. Aquí nos ordenó. Uh -huh. Ok. Correct. okay. So, but sorry, yo les dije que ya estaba el sujeto dado, entonces eso también los, los confundió. Ok, so, yes, podría ser employees, employees always pick up the tables. Ok, and now we have the sentence. We needed a subject. Había que ponerle aquí a alguien, or Jenny, or we, they, a person at the beginning, a subject. Employees always pick up the tables. Let's try with number two. Let's try with number two. Brian, how can you I, say it? Uh -huh. I, 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 I shall don't change them, no. Uh -huh. Okay, that one works. Thank you, Brian. And you, Blanca, what did you write down? Trados. Mm -hmm. uh, y la hice como todo <ríe> sin nada sin subject sí, ah. sin 
pero no sé, no sé si ser así. Y iris ni mu sangre cerdo. Yes, we have to put something. For example, Brian said, I seldom change the menu. We have the subject here. And yes, okay, let me see a little. The subject may be they. Maybe I can say they seldom change the menu. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, you could change the, the subject. And uh -huh, Galileo says sure. the menu seldom changes in the restaurant. That could work. Aha. Uh -huh. No, eso le iba a decir que yo solo lo dejé como the menu seldom changes. Nada uh -huh. más. That could be another possibility. The menu, que ese fuera como el, el subject, right? Subject. The menu seldom changes in the restaurant, as an example. My boss rarely hires Galileo, hires new employees. Closes, the next one that you created. Okay. And then number five is okay. And the one about Papa John's closes, Galileo, because you're talking about a singular now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I know. Thank okay. You. Now let's continue with number three. Can you help us, Anna? Anna Lilian in this case, and then we listen to Anna. Number three. Lily, are you here? I don't see you here, Lily. Anna, can you help us with number three? Uh, to share, yo le puse hi, are really new employees. Ah, ok. Y si pusiéramos un subject, Ana, porque si necesitamos acá, ¿qué subject podríamos ponerle? Uh, they. Ajá, ok. They or the company podría ser otra opción. Ok, they. Maybe or the boss. Or the boss. Ajá, or the boss. Ajá. Or my the boss. boss, my boss. Ajá. Okay, y luego uh -huh. Ana, what could be the next word? ¿Qué sería lo que va después? Es rarely. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hire. 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 And new employee. Hire. Hire the new employee. New employees. Yes. Thank you. And okay. let's go with Mayra. And you, Mayra, what was your idea about number three? Ahorita le estaba agregando, teacher, porque no le había puesto. Ah, okay. So, what did you put? Yo creo, delivery, something early close. Ah, but number three, number three, Mayra. Ay, ay, a esa, a la había puesto, a esa sí, my boss. Rarely hire new employees. Okay, thank you. Mayra is correct, but I can put it less. Hires. Will be my boss. Uh, hire. Rarely hires. Yes, Mayra. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with number four, Juan Carlos. Sometimes close early. Maybe uh, I closed it. I close early sometimes. The position of the adverb before the verb. I. Okay. I early close the door sometimes. Sometimes in the morning. go at the beginning, puede ir al principio o luego del sujeto, Juan Carlos. Sometimes. One more time. I early close. I will sometimes. show. Sometimes. I sometimes close early. Early. Uh -huh. Yes, Juan Carlos. Okay. Thank you. Arnoldo and you, number sure. four. I have a question. Yes, Ellie. I have a question. 
in the number four. Yo, yo también la tengo así. I sometimes close early, pero close is bare. Mm -hmm. In early, ah, no, no. No, pensé que llevaba un tú. Ah, pero no. Ajá. No, no, mm -hmm. porque no es un verb. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Yes. Thank you, teacher. And you're welcome. Okay. Yes, Arnoldo. What was your sentence? Number four. Arnoldo. Okay. Christian, number four. Christian. Jenny, number four, Jenny. Or um, I sometimes close early the restaurant. Uh -huh. Another possibility can be the restaurant close, I'm sorry, the restaurant sometimes closes early. Close early. Uh -huh. Or sometimes the restaurant closes early. Yes, thank you, Jenny. Now let's continue with number five. Can you help us, Wendy? Number five, what is your sentence? No, teacher. You don't have that? No, no. no. okay. And you, Saira, no. number five? Uh, teacher, the hotel uh, number five. Mm -hmm. The hotel Helly Ever. Um, mm -hmm. He he away promotional item. Yes, Saira. Just gives because it's one hotel gives away. That's okay. the only change, but it's a good sentence. Oscar, what is your sentence? Sentence number five. In my company, hardly ever give away promotional item. Thank you, Omar. Only the S. También hay que ponerle la S. In this case, the hotel gives away. I'm sorry, I missed it. The hotel hardly. ever gives away <clears throat> promotional items. There we go. Okay, number six. Can you help us, Nelson, with number six? Nelson and Omar. I'm sorry, Nelson five. and... Aha, uh -huh, and Oscar. Hello. Yes. yes, Nelson. Number five. Number six. Okay. The restaurant... Ah, sí, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The story never closes on the Monday. Never closes, porque es un store. Vamos a yes. ponerle la S también. Never the closes store. on Mondays. Yes. And Oscar, what is your sentence? Sentence number six. Sentence number six. Mm -hmm. The restaurant never closed on Monday. Okay, thank you. The restaurant never closes on Mondays. Okay, thank you. Entonces, recuerden eso. Si hablan de un solo lugar, hay que ponerle la S siempre. A menos que sea el plural, ¿verdad? Como que sea restaurants, hotels, Managers, ahí sí va, sin yes. Okay, so here we have some ideas, but sorry, sorry about the confusion earlier. Do you have questions? Any doubts? No, Saira and you, do you have questions? No, no teacher. And you went question. Uh -huh. yes. Give away what's the meaning? When you make a gift, cuando hace un regalo, regala algo, you give oh. away. Oh. That is the meaning. Como donar, teacher. 
Como donar no, algo. Como, como regalar. Pero podría ser como donar, como donate. Uh -huh. Podría ser un sinónimo, Brian. Yes. Ok. We have this activity now. We have a lot of things. Pay attention, ok. Please focus. Concentrémonos porque vamos a ver horas y, y muchas activities in this moment. And you're going to help me, help me read it. We have a schedule of a restaurant manager. Okay, we have the schedule of a manager in the restaurant. We have to write the time of different events. La idea es que veamos a qué hora hace diferentes activities. And we have the activities here. We have to check, I'm sorry, we have to check the moment he checks the temperature at the kitchen, the moment he turns on the lights and sound system, the moment he makes the schedule for the second shift, the moment he opens the back kitchen door, the moment he does inside work, and the moment he turns on the open sign. Esos son los que vamos a estar viendo a qué horas lo hace. Okay, and you are going to help me read para que practiquemos pronunciation y cualquier cosa yo les ayudo. We are going to start with Ivania. Ivania, the first two activities of this manager, please. Um, okay, so open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Mm -hmm. uh, nine fourteen work around kitchen check the pen temperatures in all coolers, coolers and coolers and freezers. Mm -hmm. uh, nine uh, fifty crazy kitchen for service and Bowser, with shorts. Shorts. shorts that need to be done in day shift individually. Thank you, Ivania. Elena, are you there? Yes, I am. Can you read the next three activities, please? Okay, they, then I am. Server star two clocking. Mm -hmm. um, ten, ten, ten. I am mm -hmm. turn on all light, all the lights and sound system. Ten mm thirty. -hmm. Uh, I am every young clocks um, out and have a quick lunch along with employees, and we talk about what their schedule chores for the day. Thank you, Elena. Can you continue, Maria Concepcion? The next four activities. 10, 50 a.m., every John close back in and start working again. 10, 65 a.m., open the front door and turn on the open scene. 11 a.m. go to the kitchen and check the temperatures. Us ready to eat food and get samples samples to to taste. 11 a.m. 2 p.m. great great wet room register. Maybe room some food and help a server that get that get be, be, behind. behind. Okay, thank you. I'm going to help you with some of them before we continue. Number one is sign, Maria Concepcion. This is the pronunciation of the one there. Sign, and this one is temperatures. Okay, that is the pronunciation of the next one, temperatures. Samples, samples was correct. Taste, breed. Guests, greet guests. And the last one here is behind. Mm -hmm. So just for you to have the idea about the way we 
we say them. Thank you, Maria Concepcion. Let's continue with the next activities. Laura, can you read them, please? Okay, 2 p.m. Clock, clock up, clock up, and go home. Assistant manager stay in chair, in chair. Uh, 4 p.m. Clock in break in off is over. 4 5 p.m. Check food temp, temper, temperature, temperatures, temperatures uh -huh. again as well as colors, coolers. Cooler, coolers and freezer stands. Uh, 4 10 p.m. May schedule for second ship. Severs and boosters, boosters, kitchen hill, cool, handles, his thing. Handles, mm -hmm. good job. Handles. Just this one is handles. Handles, okay. yes. Handles, okay. okay. Thank you. Let's continue with Galileo. Galileo, can you help us with the next part in pink or red? Okay, okay teacher. Uh, 44. 30 p.m. second, chief staff start to clock to clock in. Five nine p.m. greet guests, talk to people, etc. etc. Don't have to run the register in the evenings. Have a part time cashier in the clock from five to nine nine. That's way. I focus on more important things. Uh, 9.30 p.m., we start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. Thank you, Galileo. I'm just going to help you with two words. Number one, register. We run the register. Register. Aha, and, uh -huh, and this one is cashier. Cashier, register, cashier. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Galileo. Eli, can you help us with the next two, the last two activities? Are you there, Eli? Eli, Eli, no? Carlos, can you continue, Carlos, please? Yes. 10 o'clock. Or 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. to the open sign of the look the for the front door. Mm -hmm. uh, ten, 10 past 10. Enter credit card tips into the CC processor. Aha, uh -huh, it's the credit card processor. I think we call it post oh, here. Credit card. Aha, uh -huh, for credit card processor. Yes. Credit card processor. Thank you, Carlos. Good, good pronunciation. Okay, so here you have the big list of activities, very detailed, very, very detailed. And now we have the answers. No sé si tienen su libro ahí para que puedan ver la lista y yo pueda tener acá eh, las preguntas o, o no lo tienen. Si no, yo lo soy. Scrolling up and scrolling down. Okay, so we have Number one, we will start with Brian and Blanca. Okay, number one, what time does he check the temperature at the, at the kitchen? We start with you, Blanca. What is your opinion? Number one. Are you there, Blanca? Ah, ah, you're checking. Thanks. Yes, Blanca. And guys, if you want to, you can also send it by chat. Okay. If you want to, you can send me a private message if you have a, an answer now. Brian, what do you think? What time does he check the temperature?
What time does he check the temperature of the kitchen? It's uh, 11 a.m. Uh -huh. 11, and you, Blanca, 11? Sí, es 11 a.m., correct. That's the one, 11 a.m., good job. Then let's continue with Ana and Lily. Ana and Lily, question number two. What time does he turn on the lights and sound system? Lily and Anna, what time does he turn on the lights and the sound system? What time does he turn on the lights and the sound system? I think Lily is not here, right? No. Uh, me teacher. Yes, Anna. Then, 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 a.m. Then, then, ten past ten. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Anna. And you, uh, Mayra, what is your opinion? Thank you, Anna. What do you think? Ten, ten a.m. Ten, ten. <laughs> yes, that's the one. I'm going to show it to you. It's here, right? Oops. This one. <laughs> ten, ten. Yes. Question number three. Question number three, Juan Carlos and Arnoldo. Arnoldo, are you back? No, Arnoldo is not here. Juan Carlos and Christian. What time does he make the schedule for the second shift? What 10 time? 1030. 10.30. And you, Christian, what do you think? Uh, 4, 10 p.m. 4 10 p.m. Okay, we need one. 4 10 p.m. 4 10, Juan Carlos. Okay, so yes, yes. yes. it is at 4 10. It's over here. Yes, he makes the schedules of the second shift. Thank you. Jenny and Wendy, number four. What time does he open the back kitchen door? Open the back kitchen door. What time? Um, I don't see. Uh, open the, the door. It's 9.30 a.m. 9.30, okay. And you, Wendy? Deje ver la pregunta porque ya me perdí. Okay, number four. Open, Open the kitchen. back. The back kitchen door. Open the back kitchen door. Mm -hmm. Open the back kitchen door. Uh, nine thirty. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Jenny and and Wendy. That's the right answer. Let's continue with Saira. Saira and Oscar, number three, I'm sorry, number four, five. What time does he do the inside work? What time does he do inside work? Omar and Saira. 9, 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. Saira, okay. What do you think, Omar? Do you agree? Are you there, Omar? For you, Nelson? Hello. Uh, night sharing. I mean... 9.30. 9.30 a.m. Okay. And you, Saira, which one did you say? 9.30, too. 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the one, 9.30 p.m. Thank you, Saira. And Nelson, mm. Maria Ivania, Ivania and Elena, number six. 
What time does he turn on the open sign? 10 o'clock p.m. 10 p.m., Ivania. Okay, and you, Elena, what do you think? I think the same, to the open sign on p.m. Correct, that's the one. Well, excellent, excellent job. You did very well. You found the, the answers for all the activities and there were many activities to look for. Okay, I only have one more activity before we go, really quick. We will start with Carlos. Okay, Carlos, one question. Question number one, uh, hold on. What do you seldom do in the English class? What do you seldom do in the English class, Carlos? What do you seldom do? Uh -huh. What do you seldom do? Mm, excuse me. I don't understand uh, Como algo que hace raramente en su clase de inglés. What uh, do you seldom do? I seldom, as, for example, I seldom sleep. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. That's a good answer. <laughs> Thank you. And you, Brian, what do you seldom do in the class? Lo mismo, the same. I seldom know. I seldom. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice. Turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. Thank you. Sorry, Brian. Uh, Which word? Uh, Distraído, despistado, ah, no sé cómo se dice. I, I, seldom. Seldom, I seldom get distracted. Okay, that's okay. cool. You're always <laughs> focused in the class. Thank you. Tomorrow we continue with that because it's almost time to go. Just yeah, to also go. true. I don't know, porque a veces no enciende la cámara y no lo veo, así que... No podemos confirmar hoy that sí. information. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Okay, um, Omar, are you going to stay with me? Si se va a quedar ahora, Omar? Just want to double check. Yes, yes, miss. Okay, excellent. So guys, I'm going to take the attendance y los que no han terminado su midterm test, recuerden de hacerlo. En caso tienen algún error, repórtenmelo, please. Porque así yo lo reporto today. Okay, the attendance. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Okay. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Frida Yanine. Jose Galileo. Present ma'am. Okay. Jose Rodrigo, Laura Carolina, Luis Alfonso, María Concepción, María Elena, Present. thank you, I'm here. Ivania, Palma, and Nelson Gavarret. Okay. Nelson, Omar, Francisco, okay. Oscar Arnulfo, Present. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Jenny Zulema. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Christian Lazo. Present miss. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. And Mayra Moreno. I'm here Present teacher. teacher. Thank you. Okay, so now you guys are dismissed. Uh, I'm sorry miss. Free to go. Uh, okay, Nelson. Don't worry. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Rest a lot. Descansen mucho. Bye bye.
Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Have a good night. You bye. too, Wendy. Bye, Elena. See you. See you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Carlos. Teacher, cuando me toca a mí. Cuando me toca a mí. Ah, uh, let me check. Déjeme. Vemos, Brian. Mm, 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 mm. Brian, eh, podríamos hacerlo mañana porque le tocaba en la primera semana, pero creo que no estaba el día ah. que le tocaba. Así que si usted quiere, puede, ah, okay, puede, puede ser mañana. Ajá. Ok, está okay. bien mañana. All right, sounds good. Do you have a question, Oscar? No. Ah, ok. Ok, Omar. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today, Omar? Uh, I'm fine. Fine. Tired? No. Cansadito? Yes. Yes, I, I imagine. I uh, Yes, ahora ya, ya sueño. Hmm? Yes, yes. What okay. time do you finish working? It's... Uh, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Omar, that's very late. Yes, <laughs> this my work is a uh, uh, workforce. Es como un trabajo no es pesado en términos de, de físico, sino uh -huh. tal vez más mental. mental. It's a mental, uh -huh. mental work. Mm -hmm. okay. It's tiring. So yes, tell me, how can I help you today? Okay, Miss, se lo voy a comentar en en, en español. Spanish. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Este, bueno, primeramente agradecerle. Eh, al inicio, eh, eh, sí sentía que era en el caso de los Baker Broom muy poco uh -huh. tiempo, pero ahora sí veo que nos ha dado más tiempo. Algunas <risas> veces armando la idea íbamos y, y, y ya se acababa a... el tiempo. Sí. Sí, sí, bueno, nosotros sentimos que era rápido, pero uh -huh. yo creo que era el tiempo que usted nos había mencionado. Ok, Miss, yo tengo las siguientes preguntas. Uh -huh. o sea, en este momento estábamos viendo lo de Simple Press. Simple y press. nos hacía las preguntas de... Eh, 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 Miss Smith, eh, en Miss, eh, Mr. Miller. Pero en el caso de... Miss, este, Miss Smith, mi primera pregunta yo la tengo como She like to go jogging along the beach and watch the sun. Is correct. Uh, and watch the sunrise. Early uh -huh. because. Pero el, el mío no está correcto. Lo puede, lo puede desplegar o lo tiene en su notebook. Yes. Uh, si puedo. Ajá, so I can see the answers. Sí. Esto, yo lo tengo hasta acá. Entonces. Mm -hmm. eh, Ajá. Eh, ah, bueno. Este era él. Ya que me confundí que era ella, pero es. No. Sí, porque vi que es. Ok. It's correct. She likes to go jogging along the bridge and watch the sun. This, ajá, the sun. Aunque para ser más específico podría poner el sunrise porque es el amanecer, pero es el sol de todas maneras, así que it will be okay. Y en el caso, en el caso de la segunda, she scored in a bank. It's correct. Yes, it is. Okay. En esta, yo puse o nosotros en el grupo pusimos she's going 20 minutes to get to work pero usted puso I take her 20 minutes Ajá. ¿Por qué cambio? O sea, es como un sinónimo, se puede en las dos formas como la pregunta es cuánto tiempo le toma a ella, ¿verdad? ¿cuánto tiempo Ajá. le toma a ella? entonces en inglés cuando hablamos de duración de actividades hay como una frase, por decir así. Voy a, sí me ve que escribo, ¿verdad? Sí puede ver. No. 
No. Y ahora, hello. Can you see it? ¿Qué es lo que puse aquí en el document? Hello. No, la veo a usted. Pero, Pero no sé si en su pantalla, pantalla, que es donde está ah, compartiendo. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, yes, ok. Yes, yes. Vale, entonces hay una frase que empieza así: It takes. Y luego, porque como lo que queremos decir es cuánto tiempo le toma. Entonces, lo que estamos diciendo acá es que le toma 20 minutos. Pero para decir eso in, en inglés, en in inglés, tendría que ser it takes, y aquí la menciona ella. It takes her, her okay. 20 minutes. Por eso es que, eh, como yo lo puse, era un poco distinto. Porque yo puedo decir it takes Miss Smith. 20 minutos. Aquí está ella, pero va después del it takes. Que yo estoy diciendo, le uh -huh, toma okay. 20 minutos. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Y en el otro, nosotros hemos entendido, she's uh, fighting. Es como que ella ha patinado, pero además de eso le gustaba eh, como que regar las flores. Mm -hmm. Fighting es, es, quiero ver, Sorry. es de él, como del esposo. Ajá. That was the problem. Porque ese era el hobby de él, no era el de ah, ella. Okay. 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 ok. Miss eh, Take eh, se agrega S. Esto Ajá. es, la regla es porque después de la vocal se agrega la S. Es porque es una tercera persona. Más? Porque recuerda Ella que la es. regla es he, she, it. Uno de esos tres, ya sea dicho meramente así o su equivalente en un sustantivo, tiene que llevar la S cuando es presente. O sea, porque a veces yo puedo decir Omar, pero ¿a qué sujeto equivale Omar? Él. A él, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. por ende, yo necesito usar la S como Mar. Ahora, si yo digo The Company, ¿a qué sujeto equivaldría? The Company. Una. Ajá. Y cae como en equivalente de cosa, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok. Entonces. En, en ese caso no, no le pondríamos. Le pondríamos. Sí. Porque en it, it se utiliza para cosas animales ah, okay, okay. y lugares, pero cuando es uno. Pero si okay. yo digo, por ejemplo, restaurants, ¿a qué sujeto cree que equivaldría? Restaurants. ¿Cuál sería el equivalente de restaurants? Restaurants ya quedarían equivalente de day. Give me one moment. Ok. Ok. Por, por, porque además de, pueden haber más. Por eso lo ve restaurant como más. Ajá, porque queden equivalente de ellos, los restaurantes. Ellos. Ajá, ok. Entonces okay, se okay. queda, ajá, con ese equivalente de day. Miss, la vez pasada uh -huh. también me hacía mención, como yo decía, eh, no ponía, eh, no decía, I go, I go, y 